hello guys welcome back so now let's implement the login feature so we will allow the user to log in so go to the login screen and where we have our login button when the user click on the login button first we will do the form validation that is we will check if the email and password text fields are filled that is the user has type email and password as well then of course comes the authentication that is we will check either the email provided is correct or not or if the password provided is correct or not so anyways first let's check the form validation we will say if the email or text or trim if that is not empty and if the password if the password text string controller dot text dot trim dot is not empty so if email field and password field is not empty then we will allow the user to log in otherwise else if anyone is empty then we will display a snack bar we will say that email or password is missing and the message will be you can just say email password is missing we will say please fill all fields now the next thing comes the login user so we will implement that method inside our authentication controller as we are managing the stats using the get stat management so what we can do here is after our after our create new user account method after that we will implement a new method which will be login user and this method will receive two things as a parameter one will be the email of the user and the second thing will be the password of the user and it will be asynchronous as we have to authenticate the email provided and the password provided by the user either they are correct or not if they are correct then they will be allowed to log in successfully otherwise we will display the error message that is either password is incorrect or email is incorrect so using the try catch block error message and the error message will be login unsuccessful error occurred during sign in authentication but the best way will be the error message which we which we receive from the firebase authentication as a response and that is inside this error message so we will say error occurred and we will say dollar error message we will display that actual message that is what is going on so the user know that I have done this thing wrong exactly however here in the try block we can just say wet and we will using the firebase auth instance we can say call the method which is built in method for firebase which is to allow the user to sign in with email and password sign in with email and password the first parameter will be the email as you know which is user email user next parameter is the password we have to pass with it which is password user so if the user is logged in successfully then we will display this toast message which is logged in successful you are logged in successfully and after successful login we will want to send the user to the screen which is our home screen of course later in the next video we will 
add a condition which will check if the user is already logged in or not if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the home screen otherwise if the user is not already logged in we will send the user to the login screen that is the user will not be allowed to go inside the app so anyways this is our login user method which we implemented here now uh, we have to just call this so come back here to the login screen and we can simply first create an instance of the controller so we can say variable let's give it name as controller auth authentication controller dot remove the braces from it authentication controller dot auth controller and now with the help of this auth controller variable we can simply call that method so we can say auth controller auth dot login user and to this as you know we have to pass two things as a parameter first one is the email and the second one is the so this way we call our method so first this first parameter and then the second parameter which we are passing to login user which are receiving here and then it allow us to log in if everything goes successfully otherwise it will show us the error message now one thing is we want to display the progress bar also so for that purpose we will add make this on tap event asynchronous as we have to wait for the response from this method that is when this method is executed completely then go for the next step here so before executing this method uh, before calling this okay we are going to display our circular progress bar as you know we have to set this show progress bar to true and then when this method is executed completely then we can set this to false again that is close the circular progress bar so now let's just test our application so the app is running now and now let's just quickly test out our login so john at the red gmail.com then password now if I provide wrong password let's check out for the wrong password if I click login you see error occurred the password is invalid you see that and the circular progress bar disappeared that is because we got an error that is first it start displaying the circular progress bar then it's called this method okay when it completely executed as you know the password was incorrect so first it's check here that is okay we cannot allow the user to sign in because the password is wrong so far from the fire firebase authentication the response come that is we have an exception so it displays this error message that is password is invalid okay so when this method is completely executed then after that we disappear the progress bar the circular progress bar which you see here at the bottom so anyways now i'm going to provide correct password but a wrong email address let's say I type just joe at the red gmail.com there is no user record corresponding to this identifier because this is wrong so we have to now provide the correct email correct password login you are logged in successfully 